distribution now, then there has to be. The staff at Around the Wildlife Park are unsure when these little guys will be available for the product to see. Your products. That's like an innovative product that's going to be a lot of the Montrose Hatchery in the Rakaia Gorge breeds salmon and rainbow trout to be released into the rivers and lakes all around the country. Fish and Game have been running the facility for the past 11 years and thanks to a recent donation from a local fishing competition, they've been able to upgrade their trapping systems. Marcus Irvine travelled inland to check out the development. After a 150 kilometre journey from the sea, these salmon have made it back upstream to where it all began. Three years ago they were released as, as 50 gram fish, little fellas this big, and they've gone out the creek and three years later they've returned and, and now they're home, it's time, time for us to, to continue um, the cycle of, of that. Each year the famous Rakaia Fishing Competition donates money to Montrose Hatchery. A $5,000 donation has built this new trapping system and from it they're able to gather data that's now far more accurate about the life cycle of salmon and other freshwater fish. So we sort of hope that we can get 80% um, of our eggs through to one yearling stage of salmon, which will be released after a year into the require. That compares to less than 1% surviving till that age in the wild. If you think some of the adults look a little worse for wear, you'd be right. A lot of them haven't eaten since Christmas, and coming upstream to spawn is the end of the line. The work does have its harsh realities though, it may seem barbaric, but by killing the female salmon, it can be assured that all of her 3,000 eggs are put to good use. She would have died in five to seven days after her spawn anyway. And this is where the magic happens. We're at the hatchery where the eggs are brought to after they've been extracted from the female salmon. Now about 98% of the eggs brought here today will be successfully fertilised. And those odds are far better than anything you could have expected in the wild. We're trying to do as much as we can and in this day and age um, there's always water issues and, and we're losing waterways and, and for all sorts of reasons and it's good to be able to prop that resource up and that's what we're doing, it's just propping the natural resource just to get it through some tough times. And pleasing anglers along the way. <laughs> 